Hello everybody, it is Micah again, and today I want to take a moment to talk to you about your Chocobo Companion, because I feel a lot of new players have either not unlocked their Companion, or unlocked him, and then just forgot about him. Because it's not very often when I'm out and about in the world that I see anybody fighting side by side with their Chocobo. But your Chocobo Companion is going to make everything that you're doing in the overworld, whether it's fates, or quests, or learning blue magic, all that much easier. Not only that, but outside of unlocking your chocobo, there's really not that much you need to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at your chocobo companion and see if we can't make your life just a little bit easier. Now, the first thing I think I should say is that when I talk about your chocobo companion, I'm not talking about a mount. I'm, it's actually an upgrade to the chocobo mount you receive after you join a grand company that allows you to use that chocobo not only as a mount, but also as a companion that's going to fight alongside of you. It's kind of like having a built-in party member. Not only that, but you can set your chocobo to be a tank, a healer, a damage dealer, or any combination thereof. You can customize his color and his barding, not to mention name him whatever you want, within reason of course. So let's begin and by the end of this video, you should know absolutely everything there is to know about your chocobo. So to obtain your chocobo companion, you first of course need to unlock him, and you can do that after completing the main scenario quest, a hero in the making and joining a grand company. After you do, a quest called My Little Chocobo is going to unlock at the Grand Company Hall of whichever city state you decided to join. Now this quest will also unlock the ability to use mounts in general, so if you already have access to mounts, you know that you're good to go. Now all you need to do is simply reach level 30 on any job. And once you do, a quest will unlock from the NPC Doset at Camp Tranquil in the South Shroud called My Feisty Little Chocobo. Completing this quest will allow you to use your company-issued Chocobo as your companion. Oh, and, and while you're there, make sure you also finish the quest Bird in Hand from Luquilot in the Central Shroud, which should open up immediately after my feisty little chocobo is complete. This is going to be important later, so you're able to upgrade your chocobo's abilities. And now that you have your chocobo unlocked as a companion, all you need to do to use him is to use a Gishel Green, which you can buy from nearly any item vendor in the game for only 36 gil apiece. One Gissel Green will allow you to use your companion for 30 minutes, and that can be extended up to 60 minutes by simply using a second one. Your Chocobo Companion, just like your character, is going to start at level 1, but he only has a max level of 20, and he does not require any more quests or anything else special. He's simply going to level up as he fights alongside of you, gaining experience with each kill, just like you. Companions, however, can only be used in the overworld. There's no taking them into dungeons or any other instance content. Like you can't take him into Eureka or to the Bojan Southern Front, for instance. There's also no limit to his use. So every time your time expires, you can simply call him back and keep going. But before I get into the details of how you unlock his abilities or how you use him for combat, let's begin with something you're probably really curious about, but you don't want to ask just outright. How you customize his appearance. So the easiest way to customize your chocobo is of course by choosing a barding. And to do so, go to your main menu, select character, and then companion. And remember this, because we're going to be coming back here a couple other times during this video. So click on the appearance tab and then select gear. Here you're going to be able to choose your Chocobo's barding. And there's a lot of different bardings to choose from in this game. You can also just leave him naked. The choice is really up to you. Barding is not like our armor. It's strictly for appearance purposes only. It's not going to give your Chocobo any boosts or determine any of his stats. So simply choose whichever one you like the best. You can also change the color of your chocobo's feathers to any of the basic non-metallic colors available via dyes by putting your chocobo in a stable, which is available if you have any access to housing, including apartments. 
So to do this, simply go up to the stable, click on the placard and choose Stable My Chocobo. Now click on the placard again, and this time choose Tend to My Chocobo, and then choose the option Feed. By using a combination of certain feeds, all of which are found online and is way too massive of a list for this video, your chocobo is gonna start sprouting new feathers. And when he does, simply leave him be for a minimum of six hours. Don't take him out of the stable, don't train him, don't do anything with him. And then after six hours, go back and fetch him and hopefully his colors will have changed. It does sometimes take some tweaking to get the color right, but once you get the color you want, you're all done. This isn't permanent either. You can change your chocobo's color whenever you want as long as you have the right food. But now that your chocobo is looking all spiffy, let's level him up. So like I stated earlier, the only thing you need to do to level up your chocobo is to have him fight alongside of you in the overworld. And combat with your chocobo is incredibly simple. He's gonna attack anything that you attack and he's gonna stay on that target until it dies. Even if you switch targets, there's absolutely no input required from you. And even though he's gonna make all of his own decisions and you can mostly just forget about him, there are some very basic commands that you can use so he fights the way that you want him to fight. If you open the Companions tab again, under the Actions tab, you're gonna see a few commands. And you can drag and drop these commands to the hotbar if you wanna make it a little bit easier to access them. Under Summon, you're gonna see the Summon and the Withdraw commands, and these are pretty self-explanatory. But on the right, there's five other commands. Follow, which will have your chocobo disengage from a fight and follow you. Defender, healer, or attacker stances, which will cause your chocobo to take on the role of tank, healer, or DPS respectively, and only use the skills from that skill tree. Or finally, free stance, which will open all of your chocobo's abilities up for use and let your chocobo decide for himself which to use and when. Now by default, your chocobo is gonna be in free stance and I personally keep him on free stance and I've never had a problem. But you can change your chocobo stance and therefore roll at any time, even mid battle by simply clicking on one of these commands. Now one thing I think I need to mention when it comes to fighting with your chocobo is to make sure you face the enemy away from him. Your chocobo is not gonna dodge any attacks, so he's gonna be hit by every frontal cleave or any frontal AOE. And this I know has caused a lot of upset amongst certain people. I've read multiple posts on the forums and on Reddit from really, really upset players about how their chocobo dies so fast because he's being hit by every single frontal attack, even if he's not tanking. And it never seems to dawn on these people to simply turn the mob away from your chocobo. I mean, it's not rocket science, but it's enough of an issue that I feel I needed to include that. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at your skill tree. Because unlike your character, your chocobo does not have a job. Instead, he has 30 active and passive abilities split between three lines a tank, a healer, and an attacker line. And every time your chocobo levels up, he's gonna be awarded with a certain number of skill points, which can then be spent to unlock those abilities. Now, every level he earns will have a greater number of points that you can spend in any of those skill lines. And there are absolutely no restrictions. If you wanna level the healer and the tank line simultaneously, you can. If you wanna do just one, you can do that too. If you wanna do all three, hey, you can do that too. Much like yourself, your chocobo can learn any role at any pace it want, you want it to. So when your chocobo levels up, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the companions tab and this time select skills. Here you're gonna find your chocobo's rank, his experience bar, how many points you have to spend, and the three skill lines, as well as a few other things. If you have enough points to unlock a skill, it's gonna be flashing. And since you cannot manually control any of these skills and it's all left up to the chocobo, there's absolutely no way to drag and drop them to your hotbar or do anything else with them. Simply unlock them and you're all done. 
Now, personally, I start in the healer line and I try to get at least up to the chocobo cure unlocked before moving on to the attacker line. That way, when my chocobo is in free stance, which is always, he's going to be able to keep me healed up fairly well as well as help DPS enemies down. But it is, of course, completely up to you to decide how you unlock your skills in a way that's going to have your chocobo companion complement your very own playstyle. There's also absolutely no need to worry about which order you unlock these skills in. Not only will you gain enough skill points to be able to unlock all 30 skills by the time your chocobo reaches max rank, but you're also going to be able to reset those points at any time by feeding your chocobo a Reagan pepper, which can be purchased from your grand company for 48,000 company seals. Your chocobo will initially cap at rank 10, so if you get there and you only have half your skills unlocked, don't worry, you didn't mess anything up and I didn't give you the wrong information. Because your chocobo's max rank is, like I said earlier, 20. But after your chocobo hits rank 10, you're going to need to use a Thavnarian Onion to break the rank cap. And you're going to need one Thavnarian Onion for each rank thereafter. So in total, you're going to need 10 to max your chocobo companion's rank. Now these onions are available on the market board, but if you have access to a garden, you can also grow them. I would start early though, because these things take quite a long time to grow. You have to crossbreed a few other things to get the onion seeds themselves. And then the onions, once you have them in the ground, are going to take about 10 days, real life days, before they become actual onions. So it does take time. Start early. Now, the last thing I think I need to cover when it comes to your chocobo is the stable that you keep your chocobo in. Because when you place your chocobo in a stable, there is a few ways that you can still interact with him, mainly by using the train option. First things first though, be sure you clean your stable. A sparkly, literally sparkly clean stable is gonna increase the amount of experience your chocobo earns while training. Cleaning your stable is really simple too. All you need to do is click on the stable's placard and then select clean stable while you have a magic stable broom in your inventory. And you can buy those brooms for, for 20,000 gil from the vendors in the housing zones. You can buy them off the market board, which is probably gonna be significantly cheaper, or you can craft them, which is even cheaper still. And honestly, Crafting them is usually your best bet because you're going to go through these brooms quickly. The stable gets dirty really, really fast, so you're going to need a lot of them. Anyway, once your stable's clean, you can select feed or train to feed your chocobo any piece of chocobo food, like croca or curio roots. If you feed your chocobo the same food consistently, it's going to grow to love that food and it's going to gain an increase in that food's benefits, which are all on the screen right now in case you're curious. And every time you or someone else has, who has access to your stable trains your chocobo, a short cutscene is going to play and then he's going to gain a little bit of experience. Now you could train your chocobo about once an hour. So if you're not actively running around the overworld fighting, you can still keep leveling him up so he's ready to go when you need him. But I think that is absolutely everything that you need to know about your chocobo companion. And he is incredibly, incredibly helpful. So please don't just ignore him. It's going to make your life a lot easier if you get him up to max rank, especially if you're still working on the main scenario quest line or you're just getting ready for Endwalker in general. He's really going to speed a lot of things up. And like always, if you have any questions about your Chocobo Companion, if you want me to cover anything else in particular, or if you have any other suggestions about absolutely anything else, please feel free to drop them in the comments. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. And you can also follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description. No pressure though, there's never any pressure. Anyway, as always, it's been a hoot. Until next time, have fun.